RE100S is a basic rotary evaporator developed by D-Lab with high-quality airtight glassware including patented condenser, 5-liter heating bath of water or oil, manual or extended lift mechanism. It is a versatile, easy-to-operate option for your laboratory. The ejection mechanism ensures safe and easy replacement of evaporation flask with good performance and extended life. It applies to evaporation, distillation, and the separation of chemicals. In combination with vacuum pump, vacuum controller, and chiller, it is an excellent distillation solution for many laboratories. The instrument consists of three parts, the main body, heating bath, and the glasswares. The main body includes the manual lift and operation panel. The heating bath is controlled separately. You can switch between the water and oil bath with temperature up to 180 centigrade. The heating bath can be operated independently. The glassware includes condenser, evaporation flask, and the receiving flask. D-Lab offers two models of proprietary condensers with cooling surface area of 1700 square centimeters or 1200. On the condenser, there are connectors to the chiller, the inlet at the bottom, the outlet at the top. For condensers of 1700 square centimeters, the connector to the vacuum pump is on the side. For those of 1200, it is on the top. And there is a three-way valve. The, if you assemble the glassware, screw and remove the cap nut and the locking spring. Put them on the condenser. Align the condenser, screw and fasten the cap nut. Install the evaporation flask and secure it with the clamp. Install the receiving flask, adjust the metal clamp to secure it. Install the replenishing tube into the three-way valve and adjust it to proper length. Connect the main body and the heating bath to power. Switch on the power of the main body. The screen displays the latest settings, including speed, direction, and interval time between reversal. There is a knob on the right side of the operation panel. Rotate it to change the settings. Click it to start rotating the evaporation flask. Click it again to stop rotating. The interval time setting button is in the middle. Click it to adjust the interval time between reversal, the letter T in lower case stands for time. Rotate the knob to adjust the time from 0 to 999 seconds. If the time is set to 0, the forward indicator will light up, and there will be no reversal rotation. If the time interval is greater than 0, the REV indicator will light up. The rotation will be reversed from time to time. Set the interval time. Click the INT button again or wait for 3 seconds to exit the setting. Click the knob to start rotating. Click it again to stop. Switch on the power of the heating bath and the screen lights up. The indicator of water lights up as the default is water bath mode. The temperature display is ambient. The target temperature is set to the latest value. If it is oil bath for the latest time, with temperature higher than 90 centigrade, it will switch to water bath and set the temperature to 90 centigrade. Rotate the knob to change the target temperature from the latest settings. Press and hold the knob for 3 seconds to switch modes. When H2O is on the screen with water indicator on, it is in the water bath mode. Press and hold the knob for 3 seconds again. When oil is on screen with oil indicator on, it is in the oil bath mode. Now the temperature is set. Click the knob and the heat indicator is on. Start heating. 
Click the knob again and the heat indicator is off. Stop heating. To lift the evaporation flask, grip the handle with your right hand, hold the main body with your left hand, press the button on the handle with your finger, gently lift or lower the assembly. Reach the proper position, release the button, ensure the assemble holds firmly and remove your hands. The manual lift distance is 110 milliliters at most. If it is not enough, you can use the extended lift. Hold it with your left hand. Rotate the locking screw clockwise at the back of the main body. Use both hands to hold the main body. Lift the assembly to a proper position slowly. Hold it with left hand. Rotate counter clockwise to lock the position with your right hand. The extended lift is up to 100 milliliters. You can lower the assembly by the same way. Please lift it gently and safely. To adjust the tilt angle, hold the main body with left hand. Rotate the right knob counter clockwise with right hand. Tilt the assembly gently. Reach the proper angle and lock the knob. The range of tilt angle is 45 degrees in both sides. Ejection mechanism. After experiments due to vacuum pressure, adhesive volatile chemicals and other factors, it might be difficult to remove the evaporation flask. Rotate the ejection mechanism counterclockwise with the help of threading to eject the evaporation flask gently, conveniently, and safely.